Hi, I'm Chris. Uh, we're building an Overwatch skin voting system. And last time we set up the database, we seeded everything. Uh, today we're going to actually deploy the app. We've got everything set up now. So we have some PubSub, we're voting on things. That works. It's all updating real time across all clients, thanks to Elixir and LiveView. And uh, today we're going to actually deploy it on the website uh, so that everyone can access it. So let's get started. All right. So this is the app, does that work? You click on votes. Right now it's not too obvious whenever you click on a vote, but you can see that number incrementing down there. As you can see, it all uh, updates in real time. We've got some animations in there. Uh, now what I wanna do is actually get this live. So let's click open the cursor here and then uh, ignoring some of these errors. Um, let's actually try and deploy this. For deployment, I'm gonna use fly.io. Um, it's amazing. It's really good. It's, um, it, it makes running all of my infrastructure and all of my applications so simple. Um, it should be simple. We have some images. We're gonna have to maybe mount a volume. So we're gonna cover that today. But let's do this. So where am I at? The last thing I did was update the README. Uh, let's just commit that. Yeah, I did that off stream, off video. Uh, no need to see that. And uh, push that up. Nice. Now then, what we want to do, we want to do, we're in, I've already got my fly stuff set up. Um, so I'm just going to type in fly deploy. And I need that. For, I need, yeah. I thought that. Uh, oh, fly launch. That's what I want, sorry. Fly launch. So, it's grabbing everything, detecting that it's got a Phoenix app, and that's going to ask me for what I need. So, do I want to tweak any of these settings? Um. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, I'd like a Postgres app. I'm gonna blur my screen for a second there while I sort these settings out. Nothing crazy, I'm not actually gonna change anything except change the database to use Fly, Fly Postgres. Um, and the name is just gonna be skinrank-db. Um, I'm not gonna use Sentry. Confirm. That said, thank you. Now it's giving me some secrets here that you guys are not allowed to see. Um, but let's give it a second while it just does its thing. It's provisioning an image right now. So far, nothing of interest has happened. Sorry, I can't really show you this exact bit. It's just credentials flying around the screen. So it's provisioning the machines. Everything's pixelated. I know everything's pixelated, that's on purpose. Um, the things I'm showing right now are not for your eyes. You just give it a sec for this to wait and then... Okay. Monitoring the health checks. It's just spinning up the instances. So I just got given a database URL and a password um, and all my credentials. It's a good thing that's not being shown. And now it is dockerizing stuff. So now I can show you what's going on. So now it's just building the Docker image. Uh, everything on Fly runs on Docker. It's really nice. You can also you can spin up things that aren't Elixir based, but it's got pre-built. Um, configs to literally just spin up from any of these from a fly launch command so let's give it a minute for this to spin everything up 
And I don't actually need three instances. I think the default is two instances. We will change that because I don't need auto scaling, but it is a good little advertisement for Fly. You just specify how many instances of your app you want, where you want it, the region. For example, it, it's, it is really this easy, which is cool. Let me zoom in slightly. Um, the first launch is slower than the others, um, obviously, because it needs to actually provision the infrastructure. It needs to uh, assign itself the machine. It needs a runner to run everything. It hasn't got any cash, so everything is just going to be, um, you know, building from scratch. So, yeah, give it another minute for this to finish. So right now, it's, we can actually look at the uh, the Docker file to see what's going on. So, specifying the Elixir version, we want the OTP version, the Debian instance we're using. Um, these are just some args for which uh, runners to use. Uh, to flavor Linux, we're installing app.date and everything's setting up the box. Then we install hex and rebar, everything's commented. Um, pulls down the dependencies, copies everything over from the, um, the working directory to the container, copies the assets over, deploys the assets, runs makes compile, um, copies everything over, updates a bunch of other packages that we might need, sets locale, uh, sets the environment to production, which is good, uh, and then right at the end it just runs at bin server. Which is cool. Um, I'll show you guys some other fun bits you can do with Fly as well while I'm doing this. As soon as it finishes building. So this part is actually just uh, compiling the dependencies, which is all good. Du -du 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 -du. Shouldn't take too long. Oh, I've already run into a bug. That's cool. That's good. So the reason for this is we are not yarn installing, All right? So if I'm right here, so we've got, we copy over the assets, we run mix assets deploy, but at this point we haven't actually pulled down the assets yet. So I think what we need to do is go work dir. Uh, which one do we have? So we start off with app. So I think we need to go to assets. And then we do run yarn install. So that will actually install the assets. We also don't have yarn yet which is a thing. Um, how do you install Node.js on and Yum on Debian? Sudo um, npm install globally and how do you get npm? Sudo app install Node.js npm. Okay, so here we're apt getting installing build essentials and git. I also want Node.js and I want npm. Dash y? Yeah. Well, I don't think you'd need that actually because we're already passing it dash y here. So I'm actually say yes to things. Um, okay, so now we're installing Node.js, we're installing npm. We also need yarn. So if we run npm install global yarn. So let's do that after this has happened. Install yarn, and then here we go down. Why did I go past it? Yeah. Then we run yarn install, and then we need to go back to the working directory that we had before, which was slash app. What's it's worth? Maybe we have to go. I'm not sure if the working dir up or whatever. But then we do that. Then we install. Then we go back up. Then we run deploy. So let's. See if that works. Oop. Don't want to do that now. 
now we're just gonna do fly deploy. Yeah, because we already we've already launched. So now we're just actually um, trying to deploy that. So now it's because the cache has been cleaned now because something's changed. The thing that's changed is now it's trying to install Node.js and npm instead of before, where it's just trying to build essentials and get um, and cleaning. So now it should install Node.js npm, cache that. Um, let us cd over to assets. Run your install. I hate infrastructure work for its worth. It's not my favorite thing. Um, I mean, to be fair, we could also do this officially afterwards. Maybe that was a better idea, but let's see if this works. Okay, I think it just installed Yarn, which is good. Uh, now, make steps to compile. This one's the one where it's compiling all the dependencies for Elixir. For what it's worth, the assets here are the JavaScript assets and Tailwind and anything like that. So this will do it. That should work. For the VOD, I might just fly through this bit. It's not that interesting. This is how development actually goes. We spend a lot of time waiting for things to compile. Oh, okay. Copying priv. Copying assets. Running yarn install. Now it's running mixed assets that deploy. Cool. So now it's actually um, running that mix command which will bundle up all the assets into the place it expects them to be, which is cool. Um, one thing that will happen here is we're not gonna have any seeds, but we will run through that too as well. That's actually pushing it to the repository and fly. a lot of files which I didn't want to have to push up to the um, to push up to the container mm, 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 how big is this yeah 1.3 gig yeah that's far too big um, tell you what let's can that and now I will Do you, yeah, so Docker ignore. Do we have a Docker ignore file? We do have a Docker ignore file. Yeah. So what I don't want to push up here now is priv static images skins. Let's run it again. This time it shouldn't take as long because everything should be cached like that, which is good. Um, should be 
actually pushing a far smaller layer now. So now the image is up, and I was actually deploying it to um, part of an instance, which is good. It's waiting for it to be broken. Launching it's creating two app machines. By default, it scales to two, so it splits traffic, which is great. Um, uh, the launching machine takes slightly longer, but again, apparently it's done. Give it a second, it should give us a URL. Okay. Click on that link. There you go. Our app is live. Pretty good, right? That's a console log I left in. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So just to show you, right? If I go to app.js, go to this, get rid of this, and then fly deploy. That's it. That's it. It's gonna run through everything again, pick up any changes. Barely anything's changed. We'll run the assets, we'll deploy it, run mix compile. Doesn't need to get any new depths, run mix release. It's pushing up the image which is twenty six meg. And that's it. Um, and give it another few more seconds and it'll deploy the change. I think it's awesome. I love Flyer, so good. Um, okay, cool. There you go. And now it's deploying it. <laughs>